so guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can run your llms on your phone on your android phone so i have this old android phone and as you can see i have this llm running on my local system using something known as tarmux so this is running and you can see that it's, it's listening to the local host and you can see that there are a few steps that you need to do to get this working but i have downloaded the model on this phone itself and you can see the inference now what is uh, 7 plus 8 give me quick answer and you can see completely local so i need to figure out what is 7 plus 8 is so you can see this model is working and let's go ahead and create this from the start let's go it should be fun i'll list down all the steps for you and let's go okay uh, let's go to google play and download termux so t-e-r-m-u-x and then i'm going to install termux this is about 25 mb file the installation will be done in just a few seconds for this demo you need to make sure that you have space on your phone getting the ggf file putting the ggf file because everything will be local here so I click on open and now what I'm going to do is do a few updates. So first of all, I'm going to do package update and then I'm going to do package upgrade. It's asking me for confirmation. I'm going to say yes. And this is going to refresh everything. It's going to download and upgrade all the packages so that my system is updated next we need to do some installations so package install uh, ins install cmake then we have uh, clang we have make and we have git so this is going to install these four packages now while the installation is going on what i can do is i can go to llama cpp github and copy the repo okay so I go and uh, go to Llama CPP Python GitHub and go to the GitHub page, right click and go to open on a new tab. So here we have this LLM inference NCC++. It's a pretty famous repo. You can see 74.4K stars and you can see a bunch of forks so i'm going to copy this github repo and go back to termux and i'm going to clear the screen here then i'm going to say git clone and i'm going to paste in what i've just copied so this is cloning the llama.cpp it's just like the process we do at our laptops so this is downloading everything resolving deltas and it's done next you go inside the folder and you can see that if you do ls list the folders you can see llama cpp folder so i'm going to go inside llama cpp so cd llama dot cpp so we're inside this folder i'm going to clear this and inside this folder we can see all these files now i want to create a build folder uh, so i'm going to say make directory dir so make their build so I'm going to make a new folder known as build. And now you can see that we have a new folder here known as build somewhere on the top. So you can see this one. So build. So inside build, so I'm going to go inside the build folder now. So build. And inside build, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the system. So cmake space dot dot enter. So this is going to make the system ready for build next what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the actual build so cmake space uh, dash dash build and then i'm say dot so i mean space dot then space dash dash config config okay and release l-e-a-s-e -E. so i'm going to cmake this so this should take some time now while this is taking its own time 
what I can do is I can go to the GGUF a desired uh, GGUF file that I'm going to show you. So the file that I think the LLM that we are going to use is uh, let's see this LLM if you think uh, it's worth it. So I'm going to go to Olama. Uh, we are not going to use Olama, but the models here is pretty easy to navigate there. So models and I actually saw a model which was pretty fun actually. So in the models, if I go, there was a model called Small Thinker. Uh, small Thinker, yes. So that's a 3 billion uh, parameter model. And this seems fun. So if I go down and go to Hugging Face here. So this is the Hugging Face page of the Small Thinker model. And inside that, I can go to this files now. And inside that, you can see that there are numerous uh, GGUF uh, versions so I need the GGUF okay we need to go to model files and go to this quantization basically if you go to this quantization and go to this 21 models here there you should be able to find a GGUF by Bartowski so click on that and once you are there you can go ahead and click on files and here uh, I need to select one of these of uh, files here so let's see let's see let's see and let's see which would be fun so i want to see the names basically so i'm gonna just rotate this and see if it's available for me so i think this uh q4km this version uh, should be good so i click on small thinker here and now I can revert back and this download uh, button that we see here so you can copy this and copy the copy link address of that download button okay so using that we are going to download this model so now we can go back to Termux and see if it's done so it's just 20% so it does take some time Build process is complete. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a directory. Let's see if we have the directories of models here. So we don't have. So I'm going to name a directory. I'll make a directory known as models. And you can see that this is the directory that we have created. So models. Inside the models, we are going to create something known as uh, one directory known as 3b for example so we can list and you can see this directory we go inside 3b and then we are going to w get the link that we have pasted so this is the link for downloading the gguf file so i'm gonna press enter and the program G, uh, w, uh, GET is not installed. What I can do is I can go back and say package uh, install wget. This will install. I can say Y. Okay. Next, we can use this up and down arrows to go back and forth the different commands. So wget. So this is going to install or not install but but just download the model so that was i think a 2gb model you need to have space for 2gb of this space and 2gb for inference as well so make sure you have a 6 to 7 gb of space on your system now as you can see it's downloaded in this model pretty fast now once it is downloaded we can just go and I'll just go and serve this model. Well, the speed is 23 uh, MB per second uh, and it's pretty good. I like the speed for a phone. So this is complete. This is done. You can go to LS and you can see that this is there. Now I want to rename this file because this is a little 
this name is a little bit too long so I copy this and what we need to do to rename is MV and paste in the name of the file I'm sorry not this file but the file that we have just copied so we need to say MV and then paste in this and then I'm gonna give it a very small name like small dot gguf enter and now you can list the files and you can see small dot gguf here so I can go back to the folder or uh, to the build folder by using cd space dot dot this go back this goes back to model cd dot dot now inside the build so once we are inside the build now it's time for the main serve command now inside the build you can see that we have this bin folder and if you go uh, just go inside the bin folder you'll be able to see there are different commands so llama serve is what we are looking for so you can see that we have this llama server so that we are going to be using we can use llama cli as well there are different types of commands that you can see here but we are going to be using llama server so what i'm going to need to do is i can say a dot slash bin so we're going inside bin and then we're going to go to this llama server command that we have seen and uh, we are going to be using some models known as what is the name of the model or where is the model it is inside the models folder it is inside the 3b folder and it the name of the model is small dot gguf this should do it press enter and you can see that it is getting everything ready so you can see that it's listening to this port http 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 now you can go back to your browser and here if you go and say 127.0.0.1.8080 this should open up click on new conversation press somewhere here and you can see that on the bottom you can type something so tell me a joke send and you can see that it will start its inference i'll tell you a joke but first i want to make sure i understand what you're looking for are you looking for a physical joke like a one-liner or maybe a pun or perhaps more personal like an inside joke that only certain people know wait let me think about this for a moment if it's a physical joke well it's overthinking but it's okay I can create new conversation and I can ask uh, what is the capital of India let's see I think we need to stop the ongoing thing and then it should be able to give me the capital of India okay and say what is the capital of guys you see the potential you can put in any models or uh, you know a smaller models for example five four you can try that you can try to put that any three billion models and one 1.5 billion models will work amazing the higher end models as well you can go for quantization you can go for LoRa techniques to reduce the size reduce uh, the model size and then you can paste in this model section and start up inference so this you know is an amazing thing it's all local it's running on my system you don't need to use other closed end services like OpenAI, Gemini or perplexity you can use everything locally it's pretty simple now in order to stop this you can just click on control and click on c so this will start or uh, stop the inference so i'm going to say clear and your system is fine so later when you need to start it you can go to termox again and go to this up arrow see the model here uh, if you have different models you can just change the name here small.ggguf in place of small.ggguf put in your own um, model name after downloading and putting it into the appropriate place and then you can press enter 
and this will start up again in the local host you can go to local host and just start up the inference so new conversation uh, what is 3 plus 7 give me quick answer it tends to think a lot but there are other non-thinking models as well that gives uh, faster so, okay this works uh, give me quick answer doesn't think for long so 3 plus 7 is 10 and you can see the potential and I will paste in all these codes on the description section uh, and all the commands basically so you can go ahead and use this to put the LLM on your own system now this I've been trying for days to get this working and ultimately this works and I really like it. If you want to see more such content, please stay subscribed to my channel and I will see you with more interesting content next time.